Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get rid of those green angels, Spirit guides, ancestors, higher beings. This room for Pisces. Show me clear and honest messages. So if you are new here, welcome. Um, just so you know, I do not read reversals, so if you see a card come out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot, just so you're aware. So let's see. I keep seeing this Queen of Wands. We'll see if it comes out. Spirit, how does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? So we're getting the Ten of Wands. Someone is stressed out about you, Pisces. It's weighing heavy on their mind, on their spirit. I feel like whether you're talking to this person or not, I'm strongly feeling not or just not in a way that you used to. It's stressing this person out. Something's like just weighing heavy on them. So let's see. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands, please, spirit, for how this person feels about Pisces. Wow. Okay. So we got the lovers, the six of cups and the two of pentacles. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini here. Um, this definitely could be someone from your past with that six of cups energy, right? Someone who I feel is going back and forth, wanting to reach out to you, um, wanting to say something to you. It's like, like I'm hearing closure, like an unfinished conversation here. Um, someone that at one point, you know, I feel you felt very strongly about them as well, but they definitely feel it about you with this lover's energy. And it's interesting because they, they feel this pull towards you, this like almost, um, necessity to, I'm feeling like say something, I'm going to pull on that two of, uh, pentacles here. They're going back and forth about it, but the lovers was also called the choice, right? So it's like, they feel like this choice that they're going to make to reach out to you or not will really determine how everything else goes is what I'm getting. Um, so if they reach out to you and say, tell you how they feel, if that's not something they did before, that's really going to change the course of things versus just staying quiet. So they feel this is a big deal. Um, let me pull on this two of pentacles. Yeah, they're definitely going back and forth here and it's weighing heavy on them. Tell me about this two of pentacles, please, spirit. And like I said, with that six of cups energy, it can be someone from your past here, um, someone you dated before, someone from, you know, years ago, what have you. Um, but the six of cups can also represent a past life connection, like someone that um, when you do meet them, it just feels really familiar and it's because you've already had lifetimes with them. Um I'm heavily getting like you've already dealt with this person though in this lifetime. But let's see. Tell me about that. I can't help but see the tower, but tell me about that two of pentacles, please, spirit. Tell me about that two of pentacles. Yeah. They want to come forward. They want to say something. They want to offer you something. I almost feel like they want to ask you out on a date here. They, they want to like do a nice gesture here towards you Pisces um they're they're going back and forth about it here tell me more about that two of pentacles I feel like they know this is going to cause like I said the decision that they make to reach out will cause a real course change in life um it, it will really uh I don't want to say disturb but it really change up what's going on we're getting the seven of swords here interesting I almost feel like this person is like talking themselves out of it. They're like lying to themselves. 
like I don't really need to talk to Pisces I don't really need to do anything they like they could even like like I said they're not talking to you so they're putting up a front of this doesn't mean that much to me or what have you but this is how they feel about you right and it's stressing them out um tell me about that seven of swords please because the seven of swords is someone who's trying to get away with something right uh contemplating not with this four of swords not saying what they really want to say right um withholding information and i feel like it's how they feel about you there's the queen of pentacles that just flipped so what I'm getting is I feel like there could be a, a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a female, but a feminine energy they could be attached to or something that has something to do with this. Could be like a mother or just someone they're attached to in a financial aspect, a business partner, something like that. Um, could be a partner. Someone else I feel is kind of influencing them to not come forward. I feel like they would have to deceive this person to come forward to you. So that's also why it's stressing them out here. But this person feels really strong with you. Like this is like stressing them out. Like they can't, I mean, like they, they're not sleeping. Like there's something that they really need to say to you. They really want to come forward here. And when they do come forward, if they do, we're going to see their actions. Like they want to do it right. It's not just going to be like a, Hey, what's up? It's going to be like a, you know, I really need to talk to you. Can I take you out for dinner and then take you somewhere really nice or like what have you, if they do come over, like bring you flowers, like that kind of deal. Like there's a real, um, like romantic energy I'm picking up from this Knight of Cups. But let's see their actions. Oh, they're asking me to pull on the 10 of wands. So I will tell me about this 10 of wands, please spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. They said they're like stressed out here, but let's see. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Thank you. There's that Queen of Wands. So we're getting the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Swords. I feel like this person's spying on you, Pisces. I feel like um, not only do they recognize that you are an extremely caring, loving individual here, they also find you very, very attractive here. Um, it's like you're like the whole package is what I'm getting. So I feel like they're trying to figure out what you're up to too, because not only I feel there's some sort of feminine energy that could be influencing them, but they're also in this position where they feel like they don't know what you're up to. So they don't want to like make a fool of themselves by coming forward, basically. Um, hmm. I feel like they could also be fearful that if that energy is relevant in their life, it is popping up for a reason that they could they could be spying. So for instance, like if this person, if it's a partner has like an inkling that this person has feelings for you or feels some type of way about you, even if you are, if you know it's from the past, like you were like their first boyfriend or their first girlfriend or something, their new partner would like add you on social media or like look up your profile or something like, like, they, like they're picking up that your person's energy is being focused towards you is what I'm getting. So let's see their actions in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. They're telling me to go to the other deck. Usually when I go to the other deck, it's because there's already cards on the board that need to come out again. So let's see, Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Pisces? Thank you for the messages so far. So we're getting the page of wands, the two of wands and the page of pentacles. Interesting. So pages here. So th there's definitely a curiosity here. This person wants to come forward. They want to offer you something, right? They, they see in the future, they see coming towards you. They're planning, they're planning, right? It's like they're sitting at home kind of trying to figure out the best way to come forward here. They want to offer you something solid here. Um, but they're also like, I can't help, like they're very attracted to you as well. I feel like they get nervous around you, Pisces. Tell me more about this person's actions towards Pisces, please. Okay. There's that Knight of Cups. So we got the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Wheel, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, they want to come forward here right? They, like I said, there's those flowers that they could be bringing you. They want to do some sort of romantic gesture here towards you. And it looks like they're going to, um, 
the wheel and the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles here so it's interesting it's like i feel like this person realizes that by holding back which is what they've been doing it, it, it's leaving them out in the cold like they're feeling like they're missing out on something here right so it's time for a change is basically what i'm getting here they're waiting for the right time they're trying to plan it out so expect like some sort of romantic gesture here, Pisces. Like it's coming out twice, the Knight of Cups, how they feel. They keep going back and forth, but also it looks like, you know, their actions now in the next two to four weeks-ish. Um, yeah, they've been holding back with that Four of Pentacles energy, but it, it's left them feeling like this. So they're like, okay, you know what? I, I can't, you know, I can't do this. Like I, something needs to change here. And the wheel is here. This is all about divine timing, perfect timing right so let's see their intentions what's this person's intentions with pisces we're getting the eight of swords tell me more about this person's intentions this person's in their head a lot sorry so we have gemini um there's a little bit of earth taurus virgo capricorn there's more there's some water pisces cancer scorpio look at that the six of cups and the three of wands so again the six of cups is coming out again so definitely could be a past energy here right could also be someone that like you just feel like puppy love with them like little like you just like that's you know the energy you get from them but this person's all up in their head it's like they're again it's like they're waiting for something else to to happen here they're waiting for the right time there's just this aspect of like the perfect timing here the perfect timing this person i i feel like thinks and rethinks and overthinks and analyzes and over analyzes about what they're going to do and how this could play out. I feel like this is the type of person, could be an air sign, Gemini. Gemini is heavy here, Libra or Aquarius. But I feel like this person, like, when they think of doing something, thinking of coming forward to you, they'll, like, think about it. They'll think about it a little more. And they think about it so much, they get to the point, they're like, that's that's stupid. I shouldn't do that. And then they'll, like, be like, wait a second. Like, wait, maybe it's not that bad. Like, th they're one of those people. I have a lot of internal conversation is what I'm getting. They could talk very fast as well. Anything else for this person's intentions? I feel like they want to remind you of the good times you did have. If this is someone, if you if you're sitting here and you're like, I know that who this person is, they want to be get back in that energy of those good times. Um, tell me about that six of cups, please, spirit. So we're getting the nine of wands, the page of cups and the knight of swords. So it's interesting. It's like the pages are all over here, right? This person could be younger than you, but I also just feel like they're, they're still learning how to approach this situation, right? They can be impulsive at times with this knight of swords energy. And it feels like they might be, they might kind of like do this out on a whim, but there's, they're very guarded about something here. And it could be about what's happened in the past between the two of you or something that's already happened to them in the past. Um, it's just this, it's just this energy of, they feel like they, it's like, they need to get to you. They need to say something to you. They need to tell you something, but they're waiting for the right time. Yeah. Like this person is like in mental anguish here, but they want to have conversation. But let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between Pisces and this person? Who Pisces, 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 Pisces. So you're getting the world the queen of swords, the tower and the emperor. So yeah, expect the unexpected here, Pisces. This is going to come out of nowhere. Some other cycle is being closed out. So if it's finishing out with this other energy that they might be dealing with or that you're dealing with, um, maybe it's just a, a cycle of not speaking or what have you, there's going to be conversation here. This person's taking action. They're stepping into that divine masculine energy, that emperor energy, Aries energy here. Um, there's also Scorpio unexpectedly just kind of like leaping for it's like they can't like I said they can't do what they've been doing any longer with that tower energy it's like it's not working anymore they need to tell you this thing or they need to have this conversation with you or they need to ask you out or whatever it might be and yeah this person definitely is is coming out of nowhere so just to expect the unexpected here Pisces tell me about that tower card please spirit Thank you for the messages so far. I said that one's 
six of pentacles okay this is so interesting because before when i was talking about they went from the four of pentacles to the five of pentacles holding back is realizing they're not you know um it's not getting them anywhere. It's leaving them feeling like they're missing out on something. The next up is the six of pentacles, right? Putting in that energy, that effort, making up for lost time almost, right? So here it is. I feel like this person out of nowhere is just going to like come out of the blue, ask you to go out or something or be like, you know, I've been thinking about you or, you know, we've known each other a long time. I've never asked you out. Like it's going to be different for all of you, but there's this just energy of like the past coming forward with like an urgent message out of nowhere here to, to say something to you. They said one more. So tell me about the potential outcome, please, spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. So we got justice. They could be a Libra. And we also got the king of pentacles that flipped there. So yeah, they're really trying to balance something out here. Uh, again, I feel like that queen of pentacles energy that came out earlier if this is like a business partner or a partner or a family member or something that they are connected to especially in a financial aspect i feel like they could be dealing with something in the legal system that's kind of like like divvying up assets or like you know for instance if they're going through a divorce right they got to figure out all that stuff like who, who's getting the house who's getting the car who's getting the dogs whatever the like whatever before they can come forward right so that's what i'm saying like they're waiting there's like this as like it's like planning like they're waiting for the right time here i also feel like this person like could be quite financially stable so they're you know trying to uh like i said figure that stuff out with this other this queen of pentacles who's who's in the mix um so they could be figuring that out but i also feel like this person could bring you a sense of balance in financial aspect as well here uh, Pisces. So I'll leave that there. Um, I got a new deck, the Kipper deck. I'm still familiarizing myself, but let's see what comes out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces here, please? Thank you. Concern. You also could be seeing number 33. I almost feel like that's that person's energy. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're trying to, they're contemplating, like they're literally like sitting there trying to figure something out here. And then we got imprisonment. So, you know, this doesn't necessarily have to be physical imprisonment. It can be mental imprisonment, right? It could just be feeling trapped in a situation. Um, especially if they feel like they have to, they have to lie about something. And we got journey. You could be seeing number 10 as well. So I'll leave that there. Let's see what else we get from here. All my, I can't remember if I said, but all my decks are listed down below if you're interested. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, please? Thank you. We got heartbroken, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair, break up. The grieving and despair is really standing out for me. I feel like this person just really needs to say something to you. Ooh, and as I said that, the engagement ring popped out. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership, and union completion. So, I mean, that could be what this person's separating from. I'm getting more so like this is how they feel about you, Pisces. Like, anything else for Pisces here? We've got self indulgence, self worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. Any other messages for Pisces? Thank you. Okay, we got date, get back out there, meeting someone new, setting a date, date online. And then we also got key on a ring, many options, unconventional, one night stand, string along. Let me pull on that because I am seeing soulmates at the bottom, but let's just see. Spirit, what is this key on a ring, please? Yeah, so there could be some other party involved right even if it's like a purely physical party or something like someone that they could even be just be still having physical contact with um but there's like assets involved in some way um yeah anything else for that key on a ring we got the page 
of pentacles or the page of wands sorry the chariot and the ace of pentacles it's like they it, <laughs> It's like they want to move away from whatever this is, right? But again, the charioteer has a choice of which way to go. I feel like that's what this whole thing is. The whole theme here is like going back and forth, right? Starting new, starting afresh, starting like a brand new slate here, being really curious about it, but also like realizing there's something else to deal with at the time. I'm not going to go too far into that. Oh, they did send us good messages. So let's get some of these. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, please? I feel you leaving me behind. Okay. So again, I feel like that's why this person could be like kind of watching you to see what you're up to because they, I feel like they really want to come forward to you here. I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay. Anything else? No. Like half the deck came out, so let's try that again. Any other messages for Pisces? The timing just wasn't right for us. I mean, Pisces, I want to tell you how I feel at the bottom. I'm telling you, it really feels like this person is from the past. It, it, they're waiting for the right time here. Um, yeah, they want to come forward here. They want to say something to you. It looks like they, they, like, this is how they feel about you, Pisces. But there's some, I feel like there's something else they're bound to. That's just what I keep getting. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces here, please? It's up to you. I mean, there's that theme of choose which direction to go as well, right? We got recovery and we also got look for a sign. And I am seeing romance at the bottom here. So Pisces, I mean, I always say like looking for a sign doesn't have to be some grand big gesture, right? But if you're curious about something about this person or this energy or what have you, um, asking the universe for just simple signs, you know, if such and such is such and such, show me a blank, you know, a blue elephant, uh, whatever. And I say something silly like that because it can be something silly like that. Right. And then that way, when you see it, you know, it's your sign. Right, because if you say show me a blue car and then a blue car drives by, you might be like, well, what? Anyone could see a blue car right now. That's no big deal, right? So you just want to pick something that, like, once you see it, you'll know, is basically the idea. But choose whatever feels good for you. But let's see, spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces, please? The end of a tough cycle approaches. I'm telling you, Pisces, whatever is going on isn't working for this person, for you, for both, what have you. And it's like the, there's a tower moment coming here, a big unexpected shift, right? And the tower looks like scary, but it's more about whatever's going on isn't working. And the universe comes along and says, okay, it's time to get out of this cycle and onto the new one. Any other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. A personal issue reaches resolution. Again, so whatever's going on here, because I, I do feel like there's a third energy involved. It's not just you and them. And again, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like that's being resolved first. And we do have emotions are running high. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, please? Thank you. <laughs> Pisces. Stop this. Stop this right now. So you, Taurus, and Aries and Leo, I believe, have gotten these in your reading. Soulmates are powerful, powerful, powerful connections, right? Like I said, there's someone that you feel instantly connected to. It's a sense of familiarity. It's a sense of ease, of comfort, you know, like I said, could be from the past in this lifetime, could be a past lifetime, but the reason they feel familiar is because your souls already know each other, right? And I think I said I saw soulmates at the bottom here, yeah. And now look, it's coming out. 
Beautiful Pisces. So, you know, soulmates, and I, I, I do want to say this because I feel like, I don't know, Spirit's asking me to remind people of this, that soulmates are not always people that you end up with, right? They could just be in your life for a short time where they just are here to teach you something. It's a valuable lesson. They could be friends, could be a business partner. It could be anyone. I do love readings, right? So I'm looking at it like a romantic partner, but it's just someone who is, you've made a soul contract with, you've decided to both be here on earth at the same time and you meet not by mistake, right? Exactly when you're supposed to divine timing here. Wow. Pisces. So let's read soulmates. So you could be seeing number four or number one. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. Beautiful. Pisces. I just, I feel like I need to just emphasize, like, look how many cards are in here. Look which one flipped out. This whole reading is just, it's really, really powerful, actually, Pisces. So let's get some letters here for you. So these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean that it's not your reading. Already the A and the R are really standing out for me in the bowl. But I also have U, N, D, Q, and the number four. So look out for 444 four, four especially, I'm hearing. Okay, Pisces, so I do hope something here resonated with you. Um, if it did, please let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.